That's nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, happy feet, happy feet. Oh, what's up growing on my plant peeps? Today, we're at Fairview Garden Center in Holly Springs. Just as the canvas, your landscape is a canvas. Today, we're gonna do a top five flowering perennials that'll add the color to your outside canvas. Let's go. What an amazing plant this is. This perennial is May Night Salvia. Just look at those blooms, that purple to bluish hue. Um, you know, paint your garden with this guy. This is an amazing plant. Gets about 18 inches tall, max. Light, light loves the sun. We'll take a little bit of part sun. Um, pretty drought tolerant, likes to keep, the, don't let it dry out in the garden, but these are great for low borders along a front foundation, adding pockets of color on a patio, putting these even in a nice uh, container on the deck or even mass plant these to fill in a good space, but you're still gonna have some transitions behind it like taller plants. This is an excellent choice. So that's why it made our top five. Okay, May 9th Salvia scorecard. Beauty, we give it five. Pest disease tolerance, five. Drought tolerance, 3.5. Pruning requirements, 4.5. And versatility in the landscape, we gave it five for a grand total of 23. This amazing perennial, ladies and gentlemen, Solid Dago. This variety is called Sweetie. Beautiful yellow flowers. Late summer into fall, so this is pretty unique for a perennial to give you that fall blooming. Stays fairly dwarf, uh, up to 14 inches tall and wide. Likes the sun, will take a little bit of part sun. Uh, drought tolerant, mildew resistant, attracts pollinators. So good to have near a vegetable garden. Add these to containers, borders, etc. So it's very versatile. So that's why it made our top five. Solidago Sweetie scorecard. Beauty, we give it a four. Pest disease tolerance, five. Drought tolerance, four. Pruning requirements, 4.5 and versatility in the landscape, we gave it four for a grand total of 21.5. Now, for one of our perennial favorites of all time, we're talking about Mexican petunia. It is a tremendous plant uh, in your garden. It has several functions. You can put it as a backdrop behind a low foundational feature like boxwoods to give that formal but craziness behind there. So you got formal, informal. Gets about three feet plus. Um, pretty drought tolerant. Um, love those flower, the color of that purple. Every summer, all summer long, you're getting these nice blooms. Bees are attracted to it. It's just a great plant and we absolutely love it. Okay, let's go to the Mexican Petunia scorecard. Beauty, we give it four. Pest disease tolerance, 4.5. Drought tolerance, 4.5. Pruning requirements, 4.5. You only have to prune it once a year. And versatility in the landscape, we give it four for a grand total of 21.5. All right, plant peeps. Next on the list, we have cat mint. Walker's low variety. This has an amazing blue, hot blue flower, um, it'll, which will bloom all summer long. It's just amazing, this plant. It's so vigorous, the uh, blooms it has. It gets about 16 inches tall and wide. It's moundy in nature. Great for borders, um, container, deer resistant in the garden. Adds a lot of color to the garden and smells amazing. It's very aromatic, drought resistant, and that's why it made our top five. Walker's Low Cat Mint Scorecard. Beauty, five. Pest disease tolerance, five. Drought tolerance, five. Pruning needs, 4.5. Versatility in the landscape, five for a grand total of 
All right, add some color to your garden with this beauty. It's a perennial favorite, creeping phlox. Stays low in the garden, uh, great for borders, accents, splashes of color. Remember in that canvas, which is our landscapes, comes in several different colors. This one happens to be hot pink. Um, spreads outwards, so it'll grow larger and larger, staying low. So it'll give you a cool contrast in your designs you know, when you tear up from that behind it. Um, very drought tolerant once established, um, evergreenish foliage. So this will actually carry its uh, foliage throughout the year. It's a spring bloomer. And this is why it made our top five. Okay, let's go to the Creeping Flock scorecard. Beauty, we give it four. Pest disease tolerance, four. Drought tolerance, four. Pruning requirements, five. You never have to prune these and they're semi-evergreen. Versatility in the landscape, we give it five for a grand total of 22. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today. Thanks to Fairview Garden Center. This top five was special to us. These flowering beauties of perennials, we love to paint in our gardens with those. So remember, all things grow with love. So take care of our plants and they will take care of you. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Smash that subscribe button, please. We need followers. And until next time, we'll catch you later.